You know, I love films like this because you learn a little bit of something. So let's talk about that. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of The Lost King, the newest film for director Stephen Frears. Okay everyone, uh, this movie, The Lost King, is a film by IFC Films, directed by Stephen Frears. It stars Sally Hawkins as a young woman named Philippa Langley. Uh, it's a true story about a woman who basically got obsessed with Richard III when she started to uncover uh, the possibility that his truth and what he was may have not have been accurate. So what she ends up doing in this film is researching and possibly finding, uh, because his bones were lost, they have no idea what happened to him as, you know, the title of the city the lost king and so with the help of people played like Stephen coogan who plays his, her ex-husband as well as people like mark addy who plays a researcher as well as the lester institute uh she basically goes on this quest to find his remains which might be at this park car area in this middle of london so it basically is a true story or somewhat based on a true story of what she did how she was kind of uh used by the lester institute or possibly used by the lester institute so it's basically about that it's really about her trying to find out who richard the third truly was in a cover and stuff like that so so to be fairly honest i uh had never heard of this film before uh, i went to see the movie paint and i saw the trailer for this and i thought it looked interesting because i think sally hawkins is a very talented actor I think she's a lot of fun. I think she's very good, very likable, very affectionate, just very warmly in her kind of abilities to be as an actress and what she puts out there, whether it be the, the uh, Blue Jasmine or you know Shape of Water. She's just really good at what she does. And then Stephen Frears is a top tier director in his own right. He's done some really fantastic work. And then you have Stephen Coogan and Jeff Pope who worked on Philomena. They're very talented. I love Steve Coogan. I think he's very talented as well. But I didn't know anything about the story. I didn't know there was a, I guess this was national news, but I didn't know anything about Richard III. I I knew like Ian McKellen played him in the movies like that, but I, I'll be honest with you, I was kind of an idiot when it came to the idea of what actually came about with this, and I didn't know much about it. It's just how I, how I come up, you know, with my um, viewing of news and stuff like that. I don't really pay attention a lot of times, so this story was kind of surprising. But like I said earlier, the controversy behind this film and this idea is the simple fact that the Leicester Institute or the Leicester University really feels that they were mistreated in the in the kind of the viewing of this film and. I, I, I guess I can kind of see that a little bit, but I don't see that. You know, it's kind of like hit or miss. You kind of have to take one grain of salt for the other because you're not entirely sure if, if um, Philippa Langley was telling the truth or not. You're not sure if the Lester, the Lester University was telling the truth. But what this sort of story represents is not the idea of um, the, the finding of Richard III. It's about a woman on a quest to get credit for something that she did that she is, of course, in the world of men and stuff like that. So it's very much a look into like how disjointed this world is when it comes to finding you know something out and somebody else taking credit for it and i find that very very interesting because you know the idea of richard the third being a lot better than what he was claimed to be is also very fascinating so i'm going to read about this it's just this stuff kind of really interests me because the idea of history is always changing the idea of what we believe is always changing there's always going to be pushback you see that in this movie and stuff like that. And so for my honest review of this movie, how did I feel about it? I really enjoyed this film. I think it's a perfectly good, entertaining Stephen Frears film. I think it's well written by Stephen Coogan and Jeff Pope. And I think it's an Oscar-worthy performance from Sally Hawkins. I think, once again, she's proven that she's just capable of taking any kind of material and just molding it into one of her like very fun, very interesting, very uh, aesthetically pleasing type of characters. And that's what she's really good at doing. You see this in all the films that she she's been in she's just very good at doing the things she does and it really shows in this film now with that said it doesn't mean it's entirely true and it doesn't mean like everything that happened happens but that's what you have to unfortunately do when you're when you're basically adapting a book or you're adapting a true story you have to take out the parts that are boring or you have to be somewhat fictional in your storytelling so i'm sure there's stuff that happens in this movie that weren't exactly truthful in the story when it's told so that that is a little problematic when it comes to like like a real life story being turned into movies but that's why they call it either inspired by or based on stuff like that and on top of that there's a character that's played by uh harry lloyd who of course plays a fictionalized version of richard the third and basically he comes into the form of a ghostly apparition or a figment apparition for sally hawkins philip a character where she basically confides in him to find out the truth about richard the third and that's really fascinating because it allows a character like philippa to have a much more dimensional story because if you think about it if you're looking at it from a, a viewer aspect or a 
a, a research aspect, you, if you just have Philippa not have some kind of uh, anchor point to a story like this, you're you're kind of losing the audience. And what I found was that he is really good at just kind of being there for helping her move along. And though people don't believe her, like Mac, Mark Addy's character at first and some other characters from the Leicester, uh, Le Leicester and stuff like that, it really shows that this character, though he doesn't talk a lot, really helps her get kind of move forward and kind of do her research. So I found Ari Lloyd in this movie very fascinating and very fun i think sally sally hawkins is just fantastic as what she's doing in this movie and stephen coogan is also fantastic as the, the the ex in this movie as well as being the co-writer of this movie and overall i just I, I like this movie i really did i think it's fun i think alexander desplat's uh music or his composing in this movie is really good and i think stephen frears direction is really good it's not a perfect movie it does drag in a lot of places I feel like there could be a little more oomph to the story, maybe a little more truthfulness when it comes to what exactly happened. Um, is the Leicester University the bad guy? Yes, in this basically they're the antagonists in this in this movie, and maybe they weren't as bad as they say. Unfortunately, it's told from one person's point of view, so you kind of have to get that point of view instead of the other point of view. But if I were to kind of just down what I believe, I think she's telling more of the truth than the Leicester University is, and I think she finally got the just. Uh, just rewards that she was deserved but it took so long and it should never take that long it should always be you know a story of an individual who is able to get the you get their credit when the credits do and that's what this movie tries to do is show Philippa long langley with all her like all her warts and problems that she went through with the you know the ideas and everything for her uh that she finally got what she got so but it's an interesting movie it has a lot of fun with what it's doing it's well directed well acted great score great cinematography it's just it's a movie that is going to go under the radar but i think it'll find its small audience here there and i think it's a fun movie i really do i think it's well well put together and well worth a watch so overall i like this movie i really enjoyed it and that is my take on the lost king so thank you so much for watching uh comments below what do you think of this movie if you see it if you haven't heard of it are you going to watch it now that you see my review uh but with that said thank you so much if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button enjoy movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out